object that's quite close to a Ch Ch Chinese sort of uh, oh. magic tool. Mm. Yeah. And you were supposed to open it up and to take all the evil spirit into it and then close okay, it. Yeah, like a Pandora's box kind of thing? Yeah. Not really. But Not quite like, like that. that. This is something okay. that occurred, right? These have different uses. Mm -hmm. These are also known as witching bottles. Mm -hmm. And it's this is said to contain a witch or a spirit or something like that. Mm -hmm. These were used in different ways. These sometimes these were used to put in houses to deter spirits. Same same. Same, same. Yeah. Okay. Same, same. Very similar. And even yeah. the sheriff is the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other witch the versions that mm -hmm. I just found out recently mm -hmm. that they're called witching bottles. Witching and bottles. someone who um, had land mm -hmm. and he had animals, cattle, mm -hmm. sometimes to stop the spirits interfering with a the cattle, they would put a spell or a curse in there. And sometimes that spell mm -hmm. of a curse would contain urine. Um. Okay? Urine comes up a lot. I know it's a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah. what they would do, they would sprinkle this on the, around the edge of the field mm -hmm. or on the hedgerows or on the stone walls around the field mm -hmm. to stop the spirits interfering with cattle. With this? Yeah. With something very... Inside it. Or a spell or a charm or a curse. Something like that. It, it's it's interesting. The, the, the this different is uses. really similar. I mean, we should really say these, these, something. These um, amulets or magic charms are not just akin to this country. Mm. You find very similar things in other countries that yeah. maybe have taken from this country oh. to elsewhere, from elsewhere to somewhere else. Very it migrates through. Yeah. We have a, over the other side there, we have this piece of paper mm. and it has, it used to have a biscuit inside it. Okay, and what people used to do was to give these when somebody died, they used to give these to people at the funeral. Um, so it comes from a thing called sin eating, where someone was employed over the coffin, would, would eat food over the coffin so that he was absorbing the sins of that person. But when we go back further, we find that it's probably linked to cannibalism. But from England, there's also a similar practice in Pennsylvania or Massachusetts, somewhere like that. So people who came from this country carried that tradition, carried that, that ritual over to, to there. Um, so when you say this is something similar in China, I mean, you know, the, these things occur in very similar you things. Know so much. Well, um, I'm, I'm guessing.